The Excruciation of Humpa Tadam from the CCRU Writings. According to AOE Magical Meta History, millennia come in pairs, ruled by dyadic divinities entitled the Powers That Be. This doctrine corresponds to the astrological observation that every 2,000 years the equinoxes precess, or slide backwards, and a new zodiacal aeon begins. AOE Magi interpret each aeon as an astrochthonic marriage. In the Gregorian year zero, which never took place, Humpa, the great Babylonian worm, was coupled with the celestial logos Tadum, initiating the age of Pisces, which is now rushing towards its unbirth. The mathematician and occultist Charles Lutwidge Dodgson, whose precise relation to the AOE remains cryptic and ambivalent, dedicated his life's work to understanding the final degenerative phase of the epic of Humpa Tadum. Writing under the pseudonym Lewis Carroll, he introduces his heroine, Alice, to the mad despot and pomo fuzz technician, thinly disguised by the folk name Humpty Dumpty. We find Humpa Tadum, the squirming word, whose name means the shape it is, perched precariously on the supposedly impenetrable wall of signification. Something shattering is about to hatch, and the aeonic fragility of Humpa to Dome is soon confirmed by a calendric calculation of unbirthdays, counted to the N minus 1, through which meaning subsides into the subliteral machinic efficiency of numbers. And that shows that there are 364 days when you might get unbirthday presents. Certainly, said Alice, and only one for birthday presents, you know. There's glory for you. I don't know what you mean by glory, Alice said. Humpty Dumpty smiled contemptuously. Of course you don't, till I tell you. I meant there's a nice knockdown argument for you. But glory doesn't mean a nice knockdown argument, Alice objected. When I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said in a rather scornful tone, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. The question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master. That's all. The Gregorian Okumenon is about to receive an unbirthday present, and it knows exactly when. Y2K, a knockdown argument without an argument, arises a gift-wrapped time bomb whose operational semiotic triggers the crash of arbitrary signs. It's a different thing. There's glory for you. AD 2000 commemorates nothing but fuzz. As Y2K impacts on the capitalist infosphere, what hides is the anniversary of Christ's birth emerges as the excruciation of Humpa to Dum. For two millennia, the earth has been under the dominion of the dyadic squirming word, the logos of John's gospel, but recycled, and thus far older. Impenetrability, that's what I say. Here, or they, strategically occupy both sides at once, according to a criterion of impenetrability, positioned to choose either in every case, but never apprehending what lies in between. Humpa Tadum, whilst definitely not a Dogon egg, is a scrambled version of the demon Pabacus, poached from Lemurian time sorcery, master of words, but not of numbers. Must a name mean something? asked Alice doubtfully. Although Y2K is a sheer semiotic event, it is not textual, ideological, representational, intentional, or phenomenological. Y2K, Toa Twaki, C-1, OK-100, mixed dates and acronyms in critical semiotic clusters that are not signifiers or arbitrary signs. Because what they say is no different from the way they are built. They can mean whatever Humpa Tadum chooses. But none of that matters. Beyond the domain of the fuzz god lies a non-signifying chatter of unconscious numeric pandemonium, where names are crypto modules, meaningless packets of effective information, imminently productive machine jargons. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty in his place again. It all comes unstuck at the end. Y2K closes down the age of the fuzz god. However, the Gregorian Acumenon responds. Not even martial law can stop that. 
the AOE focuses upon a single problem, acknowledging no other, how to reproduce magical power across discontinuity. As Humpa Tadam gets smashed on New Year's Eve, substitute powers await their chance and their destiny, sober, patient, totally ruthless. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master, that is all.